again, that's why they customer are, services. They, they just need uh, money to live, to pay it's, the bills. It's, a, uh, it's an important uh, uh, KPI even for these people to analyze. I'm not treating that person well, so I sh- I'm, not, I'm not happy with my work. See, it's always a good, uh, 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 it's measurable, so it's always a good uh, way of knowing that if, 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 you, if you are happy with your current situation. Okay, you can always change, change areas uh, with you, with this. Yeah. Two other aspects here that I want to discuss this, two things, right? One, as we discussed, you always said their clients is also your clients. If even if you have a, if you have a business, everyone is a client uh, and it's a potential client. You must be treating everyone well, so they will be back. They will talk about you, and people will be back to you. Okay, but there are two important concepts there. One that I like a lot is the under promise and over delivery, over deliver, right? So uh, it's it's about not creating so much expectations for your clients. Again, your clients doesn't have to be, you don't have to be in business to have clients, right? It can be human interaction today, any interaction that you're gonna have. So when you under promise and you over deliver or over deliver, you make your experience what? Remarkable. You, mo- you make their experience remarkable. Because you impress, and when you impress, you make them feel something, and if they feel something, what happens? They remember you. They remember. They remember, they talk about you, they come back to you after. And that's what is important. But can you as an employee bring that to your to your to your workplace? How? With deadlines, yeah. with deadlines, delivering before time. So people were expecting you to deliver on time and you delivered two days early. Now, when you do that, you must tell people or what else people might not know that you were exceeding the expectations. Always brag, see, brag. I delivered two days earlier. I delivered one week earlier. And depending on the position, you can give your extra idea about what you are doing something better that they, they could offer or they could do or you could not give the idea and deliver yes, something course. that they weren't, weren't expecting to, to get yeah. even if it, if it takes time and they say no I didn't like we are not with this now but you tried you showed that you you were I always remember a, uh, an episode. My my father told me that I used to, to work for IBM for years in Brazil, and uh, he, he told me that uh, the human resources department used to to measure the the efficiency of their employees uh, by giving them letters uh, of performance. I don't know. I don't remember exactly like A B C or whatever. And uh, IBM used to to measure the performance of their employees this way, by uh, people who were uh, delivering only what what was expected for, from them, they were classified, uh, categorized as I don't know C. But people who who were always like sometimes exceeding the expectations or. Uh, Sometimes failing, sometimes like going the extra mile, they were, I don't know, B. And there were, there were people who were always delivering uh, 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 like the best experiences or delivering before time or delivering quality of things that they weren't expecting to get. So I took that to myself, like it has been years that my father told me that, but I always I never forgot about it, and I guess I brought that to my career. I always, especially if I start a new project, a new client, like it's 
it's up there like you go giving them every second of your time and uh like uh, trying to anticipate their needs so you create that the the magic bubble around you right so uh, that they will create their 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 uh, they will make their, their initial judgments about yourself about your service about your product right there in the beginning and that that's right there in the beginning that you put the the, the maximum pressure for you to create these to improve this relationship this customer service customer client uh, client, uh, client satisfaction. Right, uh, satisfaction right there in the beginning uh, and in, in the end it's about uh, making remarkable making remarkable as I said that if the experience is it's good extremely good you will remember but it, you are gonna remember also if it, if it, it is extremely bad and therefore, you, I'd say, it's, it, it, it takes, it, it gets into your emotional, and then you remember about that. So if you feel like you, you start uh, any relationship, customer relationship, and they're trying to make this remarkable for all parties, they will always remember about you. And that's the main point here. If they remember about you, they give you what opportunities they give you what they call you for for, for I don't know for, for a beer or whatever they because they feel good when you they are around you the same when you go when you avoid a, a specific it's store beautiful. it's because the, you know that you won't be well treated there there are many brands that they they uh, they, they have uh, they're so good in it. See, uh, it's like see coffee, coffee shops. Of course, uh, I don't know when. I guess it was in the nineties. Starbucks came with these. Uh, uh, let's make let's make people have coffee every day instead of only in the morning. So they created an environment that people would go there, stick around. So you can you know you open your laptop, you can stay there for for the day. Sometimes your experience in these places, most of the times, are so good that you you don't go there for the coffee anymore. You go there for the experience. And you already feel good just thinking about going to that place before. And that's that's so that the, these guys they are so smart. Not only Starbucks, but the businesses that can bring that that uh, that experience. That they make you feel good about their brands, about their environments, even before you go to their places. Can you can you see that? Can, can I did bring I didn't bring that to my business yet. We try to be everywhere, our colors and all everything, and that just just for that, like I'm giving a lot of stuff for free. Just with my intent, it's always creating a great experience for the other bodies because they will become customers after that i think this way all the time and that's the way that you should be thinking as well whether you have a business or not whether you work for your employer or not you gotta be bringing them back all the time that's why you build sustainable relationships and sustainable businesses which will benefit you in the long term.